Next, uh, let us move on to uh, Miss Lamtin Kim. Uh, she is presently, if I'm mistaken, she is presently in London. So, Miss Lamtin Kim Kip Gant, uh, will you please say us something? Yeah, so I'm here. I'm here just outside London. Um, I've been here for a year now because of the pandemic. Uh, it was initially I was supposed to be coming back. <clears throat> Hold on one second. I was supposed to be returning in January um, at the beginning of this year, and um, till now, it's it's just been obviously we we've just been struggling uh, the same as everybody else, and uh, in I mean in terms of school, you know. And um, uh, we we have somehow managed to write our current state is that we, we are doing some kind of online class uh, for for class nine and 10. We are uh, doing trying live Zoom classes. Um, what uh, who was that IPS officer before he what he said about quality of education? I felt like that was very um, that, that is very key. Uh, for, for all of us, um, because as much as, you know, our teachers are, you know, especially I can speak for my teachers at Emmanuel School, they're trying really hard, but they have not had the quality of, imp of education themselves, so they can only give the best that they have, right? And, um, you know, it is, it's good, it's better than nothing, uh, but it, it, it needs to be a lot, you know, we, we need to somehow think about how do we increase that um, quality and short term uh, right now I, I guess we're, we're all seeing uh, lockdown continuing in terms of schools and um, you know for me personally I have had to work working here in the UK um, I can't stay in I, I can't stay in Manipur right now because I, I will be <laughs> depending on everybody else to feed me you know I have to stay here and earn some money and um, so schools have reopened slowly here um, but what we found in the UK is is that also um, in the UK the, the, we went back uh, in 8th of March we started coming back to school but er everything was different you know we changed the way we um, children were not freely mixing um and and they were kept in like bubbles you know like so each class was in a separate bubble and there were staggered start times and staggered finish times and so on and um towards uh, like july it was um uh, lots of uh, coronavirus outbreak but at the same time you're seeing the here we're seeing the vaccination go up and up and i think in accordance with the vaccination program um, the risk does get lower, um, but, you know, we could be in this state of pandemic for many, many months to come. And so I think we need to think about how, what can we best provide during this time? And we've, I've discussed, uh, I think with Sadenis and so, some other people as well, and, um, and even uh, the board at Emmanuel School and, and I know Sir Dennis is doing some amazing things, which he'll talk about, like on his with his YouTube channel and so on. But we, you know, we haven't got there yet at, at Emmanuel School. We're uh, so we're trying these live Zoom classes. Um, I I thought Khan Academy was quite good as well in terms of linking to our curriculum. Um, it has a transcript. A transcript. But then we have the problem, the issue of children not understanding, um, you know, that level of English as well. Um, we're doing paper assignments. So we, we regularly give out paper assignments and uh, we, we have um, assigned different teachers to different wards in the village and they are taking charge over their students. Nothing is working, uh, as uh, uh, Dr. Hang Singh said, um, nothing is working as smooth as we would like it. Even um, these paper assignments and, and um, but, uh, it's better than nothing uh, right now. I think for when we go back, we're going to have um, quite, we, we, it's going to be difficult, I think, to get children back into the routine of school whenever that time comes. Um, I, I think I'm coming up with more problems than solutions right now, but 
Um, I think it's important for us to see, uh, think ahead and what are the problems going to be and then accordingly, what adjustments can we make? Um, you know, I see uh, strug- uh, children will very much struggle after such a long break from school coming back. Um, I think we we need to think about how do we draw them back into school? Um, what what methods can we use? How can we make things exciting for them? Uh, again, coming back to the quality of education, um, I think we need some good teacher training. Um, I think we the Indian curriculum just before the pandemic, they, it, the, a new national curriculum was brought in. Um, and I think this is something we need to really engage with because there is some good stuff in there. I'm not saying that all of it is necessarily, you know, usable. There is a massive bridge, there's a massive gap uh, between where we are at now in uh, Manipur and where the Indian government wants us to get to in terms of the national curriculum. And I can say from my experience in the UK, um, I was teaching from 2003, 2002, 2003, up until 2000 and, well, now. <laughs> um, but it's what, we, what I've seen, uh, the curriculum in the UK has come from where uh, Manipur is now to where the, the Indian government kind of wants us to get to. And it's not perfect. The education system here don't think it's it's anywhere near perfect. It is not. But some of the good things I see are um, teaching students to think critically for themselves. Um, it's a curriculum whereby um, they ask questions, whereby they um, don't just absorb um, or, or just... Um, consume the textbook but they actually think about it uh, for themselves and it's how do we um how do we transition and at the moment i think as a school manual school we are trying to transition to not just memorizing facts not just uh, recalling facts but actually the next level and um i don't know if you, if anyone is familiar with uh, bloom's taxonomy and we're using that a lot in um, education here in, in the UK. And so you've got that uh, knowledge base, which is important, you know, where they um, memorize facts. Then the next level of that is understanding what they're being taught and understanding and application. So really understanding what it is they are they are learning. And I know, like, uh obviously the challenge is, is um english is is uh, second or third language so how you, you know i i do firmly believe that we need to transition to a more um uh, critical thinking for students um getting them to understand and apply what they're being taught um and not just le- not just uh, learning for exams. Exams are important. And so, again, what um, I, I, IPS officer was saying, it, it is really um, important that they know the career opportunities, um, the different career opportunities available in government, but also outside of government. I think if we want to see our society grow at every level, and if we want to um, see economic growth as well Um, then uh, when I look at the state of our our students our children um, I I see apathy I see students who are not interested in learning and we need to ask why are they not interested in learning what if I was in their shoes as well I, I would probably not be interested in learning because if I don't want to become a government officer if I don't want to um if I don't want to go into the army and if I if I don't have any of those skills what else is there farming is that you know is that all um and so I think we need to think more broadly as well because you know let's not despise um things as a different um non-academic training as well 
Um, and I, I, I do think practical skills, carpentry, um, they're really sought after. Like in, in the West, um, you can make a really decent living now as, as, a, as a hairdresser, as a mechanic, a car mechanic. You know, these things are important. And they, um, although they may not be, have that value of status, I, I think that we need to put value on them as educators. Um, and we need to appreciate every student for the gifts that they bring. Not every one of our students is going to become IPS or is going to get high in the ranks of a government job. So what about them? I think their lives are just important. Their careers are, are just important as anyone else's. Sorry, I've gone like this. I've, I've talked like this. But um, that's basically what I want to say is, is that how, you know, coming back into school, how are we going to make education um, valuable for everybody, accessible for everybody? Um, that means improving the quality of the education system, uh, like Sir IPS said, and also um, broadening it as well. So not just focusing on, on academic subjects, but also non-academic. And I see for Emmanuel School, I see that our future as um, practical training as well as academic training. And I don't just want our students to be satisfied with a certificate because the certificate doesn't tell me anything. I can give out character certificates all day long. But it doesn't tell me when, you know, when I, it, it doesn't mean anything. And I want more depth. I want to see genuine, um, I, I want to see depth and, and a sincerity and uh, not just, um, yeah, I, I, I don't like um, just seeing certificates and thinking, okay, that's, that's good enough. It's not. Um, I think by actions um, and, and by experience, um, I think that's that's the best thing uh, instead of just, um, you know, just uh, having a certificate and being able to get a job with that or what, whatever it is. Um, we, we need we need to start rebuilding our society from the from the bottom up, um, right from the, the, you know, the farmers, the hairdressers, all of these lowly jobs. Though they are lowly, they are important Um and and you know whatever our skills whatever our skills our students have we should encourage them in those skills yeah thank you ma'am thank you sir uh, thank yeah. you yeah exactly uh, you have uh, driven uh, into the point